what is up guys welcome back to the channel guys we got a special request here we got 10 countries people regret moving to uh these are always interesting because uh you know people move around all around the world and stuff like that but we're gonna see i don't think i ever seen a video that people regret moving because usually i mean if you don't like a place most time most people move i mean then again you know here in the states uh it's not the best compared to other countries, but it's not bad. You know, it sucks sometimes, but it's not like bad, bad as some people may think it is. You know, we got some issues going on, but what country doesn't? We're going to check this out. Y'all hit that subscribe button, send out those recommendations. Have you ever moved to another country and regretted it? It happens more often than you think. Most of the time, it's people that relocate for work, mm -hmm. and of them, polls show about 75% of the time, the country isn't the worker's first choice. Like our other videos on this subject, we ran a survey asking people if they had moved to another country in the last decade. What country was it? Do you regret it? And why? And that's what we're oh. looking at today. Now, before we get started, I want to help you out so you don't have to type out a weird question. No, I didn't forget a country. Whatever country <laughs> you think is missing wasn't brought up enough in the survey results. Also, not many people regret moving to Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan, North Korea, and any other country in that vein because oh. not many people moved to those countries. In this video, I will list that which countries true. showed up the most in our survey and the reasons most often given. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, Canada. Oh That's right, my. the Great White North shows up at number 10. A lot of people move up to Canada. Canada's got some hurdles you gotta jump through to either work there or move there. I definitely wouldn't have thought Canada would be up there, but yeah become a citizen that's kind of hard and can take a couple years and you might oh. need a lawyer at some point but yeah that one there's some hurdles to get through but a lot of people still move to Canada for work and different things like that my very first girlfriend from high school I was freshman in high school she lives there now I think her husband may have been a Canadian citizen oh, before wow. but yeah I've known a few people that move up there and they all stayed there so I find this one a little strange that's just from my I, own personal experience the people I know that's that, what I think too I mean I don't know too much about Canada. Maybe I need to learn it, but I didn't think it was like one of the worst places I moved to. I've moved there. Love the country. But the reasons most often given to why people regret moving there, it was more expensive than they thought it was going to be, oh. and it was colder than they thought it was going to be. Those aren't terrible reasons. Those aren't terrible reasons, but I mean, I don't know much about Canada, but I knew it was cold. I mean, that's that's not bad. Cold and a little expensive. It's better than like everyone's getting murdered every week. Oh, Number nine, the United Kingdom. No, now, this one not had the a lot UK. of the same reasons people listed for Canada, like it's damp, cold, and a lot of gray days. They also said it was expensive, and if you mm. wanted to see a doctor, sometimes it was an all-day affair if you could actually get an appointment. United oh Kingdom gosh. has a lot of history and a lot of things to do and see. It's just you're doing them under drizzle and gray skies most of the time. If you Dang. get outside the cities, which a lot of people when they visit the United Kingdom, they don't do it as often as they should. I have heard the weather is not the best there. That is some beautiful land. Beautiful country. Other complaints the people had that there's not enough work-life balance, yeah. which usually you expect to find that in some other countries that are on this list. But uh, I, guess, I guess a lot of people, lot of people they they have good enough work-life balance. They said if you're in a management position in the UK, it really sucks. Dang. Now, oddly, that one came up a few times. That I mean, that sounds like down here in the States. Like, if you want to, like, say for instance... If you're a manager or something at like McDonald's, Taco Bell, Burger King or something down here, you probably can make a good living. The only thing is you're probably going to be working every single day. That's the only thing that sucks. That was like a main thing that the work life balance in the United Kingdom sucks. I've never worked in the UK, so I did a little research and yeah, a lot of things pop up. They say that's a problem. One guy mm. ranted and raved about how they have a tax or a fee you have to pay every month or something for your television. Maybe it's every what? year. But anyway, he was saying there's a fee. Like if you have a television or something, they want a check from you every single year, every oh, single nah. month, something like that, just to own a television. Nah. Number eight, Brazil. Nah, Brazil. This one came up a lot. 
which kind of surprised me because the people I know that have moved down to Brazil, usually it's for like six months, nine months, jujitsu guys I know some stuff. people that they live there. They do that a lot. Good. You're training jujitsu in Southern California or something like that. And then you go down for six months to Brazil to train Ooh, at one of those nice. places. Anyway, they all seem to like it. But they all did say the same thing that showed up on the reasons people regretted moving there. It's dangerous. They say there's a lot of crime in the cities and uh, the cities actually should be avoided or at least some of the bigger Damn. ones. I mean, but beautiful people, beautiful beaches. I just guess there's parts of their cities you got to really avoid. Yeah, but I've I seen some good things about Brazil, too. This is surprising to me. So far, it's, it's two of them that were they're kind of like, hmm, interesting. With Canada and now Brazil. UK, I kind of uh, expected. I mean, I heard some people talk about the weather. You know, I talked to someone about it is very different there. But what was funny is it, it was always an answer like this. The people are great. The women are beautiful. The beaches are great. The food's great. You just might get killed. Dang. Number seven, France. Who saw this one coming? No, France has always seemed like a nice place to live. Everyone always talks about how beautiful the place is and how historic and they went to the wine country. They all had glowing reviews about most of France. And the one thing that popped up on the reasons they regret it, and I think this comes from a lot of North Americans that move there, is the locals don't like you, <laughs> especially in the cities. That's what everyone it. was saying. It was it. actually said quite often. One person said that if a French person is nice to you while you're visiting France or living in France, it's because they work in the hospitality industry like a tour guide, and they're trained to do that. And it's really Dang. just an act. They're not your friend. Come on, friends. A few other people said that Paris oh is not like gosh. it is in the pictures. It's not that well-maintained. Number six, China. China. Now, almost all the answers for this one seem to be coming from people from the United States or Canada. And they said that the Chinese people ignore you. <laughs> like you're a stray dog that's wandering through the Dang. street. They just ignore that you're there. One guy said if you would ask a Chinese person a simple question and they answer you in Chinese and it's an answer that maybe should have taken three words in English and they've been droning on with an answer for like 30 seconds, they're not trying to answer you, they're insulting Dang. you. One guy said the only time you get a oh, Chinese like person it. to smile at you as an American is when you go into one of their restaurants to buy some food. And he said, That's crazy. I mean, I don't know too many people that move to China anyway. That's surprising to see on the list because I don't. I never would have thought China would be a destination. Oh, let's just move to China. A Chinese person to smile at you as an American is when you go into one of their restaurants to buy some food. And he said they're really nice. They seem genuine. He thinks. I want you to spend but the most that common dough. theme for people that said they regretted moving to China was they had a hard time fitting in and they didn't feel welcomed. Number five, Japan. <laughs> Not both now, of as these. I went through the reasons why people regretted moving to Japan, I got the vibe that it was basically people that had all moved to Tokyo. All their reasons uh. seem to center around things that maybe happen in Tokyo or a major city. Smoking in restaurants showed up quite a lot. Dang. Apparently that's a big, huge thing. Japan, that everyone just smokes in the restaurants. This is another one that people brought yeah, up. I mean, There's no right work-life there. balance. If they could get you to work 23 hours a day, seven days a week, they absolutely would. Oh my would. gosh. One guy did mention that it was way worse, let's say 10 years ago, and they started backing off of that a little bit, but the work-life well, balance still me sucks in Japan. Hours Other a day. things that people hated, and that's why they regretted it, the squat toilets. <laughs> I guess <laughs> that's a, you know, you got a bad knee, it's kind of hard to squat, I, I guess. Every, uh, I, everything I definitely is it, can't squat too low. Individually wrapped showed up a few times. Like if you buy some corn here in the United States, you can get a whole bunch of them, throw them in a bag, go pay for all five at the same time. You know, corn on the cob. <laughs> they said that if you buy it in Japan, each corn on the cob is like individually wrapped. Uh, that one I thought was pretty funny. But work-life balance and the smoking in restaurants seem to be the biggest problems and the biggest reasons people regretted moving to Japan. Wow, Number four, Japan. the United States of America. Yes, a lot of people regretted moving to the United I'm States. I'm surprised we ain't number one or two. Eight. And now there was but a it's not too promotion. bad. They moved Depends here from work go. and they all seemed to think there was a lot of opportunity in the United States, which, I mean, if the United States has one thing, it's a lot of opportunity. There were a bunch of reasons why people regretted moving to the United States. Crime and racism showed mm -hmm. up an awful lot. About 100 people left comments on why they regretted moving to the United States, and almost all of them had crime or racism <coughs> in their reason why they regretted moving to the United it's States. And that's a shame. Very I mean, shame. I'm from the United States, obviously, and it just sucks that. That's why I say, like, America, not like those issues, 
it shouldn't even be it shouldn't be and it seemed like i I'll be like, what were we? What were people fighting for back in the day when this stuff is still going on? It's just a little bit more freedom. That's the only thing. But like I said, I'm probably wasn't one or two. But then again, I'm I'm like, it's not bad if you. It just depends on where you go. Everybody's experience is gonna be different, but it really depends on where you go in America. You know, that's what people think when they come here. And I'm sure if you're living in some other country and you find out that when people come to live there or visit, they feel that everyone's rude to them. I'm sure you're a little, you know sad that that's how they see your country and of course if you're one of the rude people or you're one of the racists in the united states you're probably just fine with it now to be fair every country has racism and every country has crime no one's immune from those things i just think here in the united states it's a little more in your face at least the racism part there's countries with far worse crime than we have that's true number three mexico this one doesn't surprise me at all i've been to mexico more times than i can remember and it has some problems it always has from how dirty some of the border towns are like juarez and tijuana to having cops shake you down for a tail light that isn't really out yeah that happened to me in rosarito three times and it doesn't help when the cops telling you yeah as your car moves the light goes on and off on and off on and off and i'm all yeah it's called a blinker that didn't go over well i think i had to pay an <laughs> oh extra 20 gosh. bucks for making that comment a few people i know Death from high great. school have moved down to mexico and they've lived there for years they all seem to like it but the most That's common theme for people that said they regretted moving down there was the crime and how dirty it was. Dang. No place is perfect. I mean, it's very, very cheap, so you're going to have some problems. If it didn't have cities that were kind of dirty and you didn't have a lot of crime, it wouldn't be that cheap to live Facts. in Mexico. Number two, Belarus. Not Belarus. Who saw this one coming? I had no idea people were moving to Belarus. Me either. I just found out what a Belarus was. But apparently they are, and they hate it. Now, I think a lot of Americans had moved there because that seemed to be the vibe of what was going on in the comment section about this one, (laughs) that if you're not from Belarus and you're not Russian, they don't want you in Belarus. Even if you're working for a tech company or something like that, they'd prefer if you were a remote worker from another country. They don't like you. I saw one report (laughs) that said 69% of the people in Belarus disapprove of Americans. Interesting thing, though, that study found that countries that are struggling economically, like Belarus is, and always has been, they have an unfavorable opinion of the United States. Almost every comment had one of three things. You better know Russian. Be prepared for long, cold months from November through February. Mm. It's very dark and very cold and it doesn't cost much to live there so that's a plus overall i found that one very strange i never think about belarus i don't think i've ever known anyone that's moved there but according to the respondents in the survey people do i just found out about belarus and that's because i've been working on uh working on the countries on the map and stuff all right before we get to number one a couple things two countries that almost made the list number 12 was germany and number 11 was saudi arabia Hmm. all right on to number one And number one, Vietnam. This one is kind of funny because I know a few people that have moved Vietnam because they used to work at Nike. They have a factory there and they would send Nike employees over there to kind of supervise and, you know, different things like Mm. that at the Vietnam plants. Things I heard about Vietnam and things in the comment section kind of line up. Everything there seems to be a fraud. If a taxi driver's not ripping you off, your luggage gets stolen at the airport, they have pickpockets, they like to steal your phones, and the Vietnamese pay far less for everything than you will. Like a 30% discount on everything if you're a Vietnamese person. It's one of those unspoken rules. (laughs) Here in the United States, if you're McDonald's and they tell the person in front of you it's $5, and then you order the same stuff and they tell you it's like eight bucks, Oh, You're probably no. going to have some questions. Well, that's a common practice in Vietnam. Also, you got to watch out for the streets. I mean, just crossing it or driving on them. Dang, it's all they dangerous. Just don't know mopeds. Now, one other thing that was brought up. Take away. All I seen was mopeds. Brought up a lot. The food in Look. Vietnam is amazing. And the, the food's great. They love it. But there's really not a lot of safety <laughs> and hygiene going on with the oh, making of your food. That's always great. Waiter brings you your food. You see forehead sweat fall into your food and he still gives it to you. Oh, no. Thing Boy, people brought up a lot. Go ahead and the, keep uh, that, my guy. Insects. A lot of people said the insects they have there are pretty much scary. Those are all the reasons people regret oh, moving no. to Vietnam. Nah, if I see four heads, well, you can go ahead and keep him, my guy. I don't need it. Nah, nah. If anybody's sweating on their food, it should be me sweating on my own food. Because it's hot and it's good or something. But, nah, that's a interesting list. Uh, like I said, 
Some of these places, I never expect people just to want to move there. Uh, I mean, I guess, I mean, Canada, Brazil, France, those type of, it makes sense why people would move there. And, you know, I'm familiar with those places. Uh, I don't know too much about uh, Canada. I don't know too much about France. I don't know too much about Brazil, but I know a little bit to know that they seem like livable places. Uh, but like the Belarus, uh, Vietnam, China, Japan, I don't know too many people that just said, man, I'm going to live in Japan one day type of thing. You know, I know people that been there and stuff, but living there, that's different story, different story. But all in all, I'm just glad um, some of my favorite countries didn't make this list. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You know, people live there, move there, live there, and they love it there. So that's a good thing. Very, very great. But that's all I have for this video. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Send down those recommendations. I appreciate this recommendation. Uh, somebody got me. The same person sent me uh, 10 countries that people. This is regret and people uh, glad they moved to or something like that. So we got the opposite. But that's all I have. Y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.